Good evening, everyone. I'd like to call meeting the Standing Committee on Economic Development and call to order. Before I begin, I'll ask Mr. O'Reilly to say a prayer. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. We are grateful for our Northwest Territories, for our homes, for our neighbours and for our freedom. We are grateful for the opportunity we have to meet here and serve our fellow citizens. May we bring both the strength of our convictions and the willingness to listen and learn to our discussions. May we consider the needs and aspirations of all our fellow citizens in our decisions. May we always represent our constituents with dignity, integrity and honesty. Thank you. So, uh, thank you, Mr. O'Reilly. We have uh, one item on the agenda public hearing review of the Wildlife Act, Species at Risk Act. And I have a motion to adopt the agenda. Mr. O'Reilly, thank you. Mr. MLA O'Reilly has moved the agenda. Motion in order to the motion. All those in favor? All those opposed? Motion's carried. Are there any are there any declarations of conflict of interest? Hearing none. Thank you. My name is Jackie Jacobson. I'm the MLA from the Nakwood Chair of the Committee. I'll now ask members to introduce themselves. Thanks, uh, Mr. Chair. Kevin O'Reilly, Frame Lake. Ryland Johnson, Yellow Knife North. Katrina Knockleby, Great Slave. Thank you, members. Now I'll introduce the staff with us uh, here today. Mrs. Amy Lazat, Research Advisor. Mr. Michael Ball, Committee Clerk. Chris Cartwright, Public Affairs. Katie Weaver, Public Affairs. Jeannie Uris, Committee Clerk and Trainee. I'd like to acknowledge that we're gathering today here on Treaty 11 land, home of the Satu people. I also acknowledge and recognize all Indigenous nations in the Northeast Territories to the homeland of the Dene, Métis, the Inuvalut, and NWT Cree. Today, we prepare to discuss the Wildlife Act, Species at Risk Act. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the deep spiritual connection between Indigenous people and the land, the animals, the health of animals, the impact of health of people and the cultures. It is an honor to be here today in Norman Wells to discuss the topic and here the public, we must honor and acknowledge traditional teachings and the wisdom of the land that we carry our, on our work here today. The NWT Legislative Assembly Standing Committee on Economic Development is a part of the NWT Legislative Assembly made up by regular members. The committee is responsible for reviewing operations at the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, infrastructure, lands as well, and, in, and industry, tourism and investment. In addition to review the departmental business plans and budgets and committee reviews of all department legislation. The committee is meeting in the public to review the Wildlife Act, Species at Grist Act, the NWT Act to Wildlife that came into effect, into force, 2014 additions to the accord, to act to accord in 2019. The Wildlife Act is reviewed five years after the establishment and due to the review. This is the first statutory review of the NWT Wildlife Act. The Species at Risk Act that came into force in 2010, an act re reviewed 10 years after the establishment in the statutory review of species at risk NWT Act. <clears throat> the public will help the committee make recommendations for the changes to improve these acts. The committee would like to hear what we're working well or not, what's working well or not, working with uh, respect to being collaborative, 
discussion, making wildlife and species at risk, co-management of wildlife and species at risk, managing healthy wildlife populations, and the recovery of the declining pop wildlife populations, incorporating traditional knowledge. <clears throat> wildlife enforcement, community-based wildlife management, what could the government do better? Wildlife management, at species, wildlife management and species at risk. What supports and provides the ants and indigenous people to take lead, monitoring stewardship, protecting our land? I'd like to remind members of our, and our witnesses, all comments and questions or remarks to become directed to myself as a chair. Come up to the microphone and to speak as we broadcast this. I will now ask members of the public to come forward to share their feedbacks and acts of the committee. Please introduce yourself by saying your full name. Are there any questions in, to the committee from the public? I'd also like to acknowledge uh, MLA Polly uh, Chinna the um, honorable member of uh, the SATU. Welcome tonight, uh, Ms. Chinna. Any other questions or comments, Mr. O'Reilly? Yeah, thanks, uh, Mr. Chair. I, I just want to acknowledge that uh, we did have the Mayor of Norman Wells with us earlier here this uh, evening and that he did uh, offer a couple of specific comments. Maybe I could just recap those for... Uh, um, the members of the committee and the viewers, if I can. Yes, uh, proceed, Mr. O'Reilly. Thanks, uh, Mr. Chair. So, yeah, Mr. Pope had uh, mentioned that um, I guess muskox are starting to come down uh, into uh, town almost here in, in Norman Wells and that uh, uh, they would certainly appreciate the opportunity to harvest uh, more uh, muskox sustainably. And... Um, I guess they're uh, um, even um, t almost coming to the Mackenzie River uh, uh, down as far as uh, the start of the ramparts. And I guess people are concerned that they don't want to see the muskox cross the river over to the other side of the Mackenzie uh, and that it might uh, cause some interference with uh, uh, caribou uh, and caribou habitat on the other side of the river. So people would like to have more opportunities to harvest uh, muskox. The second thing that Mr. Pope mentioned was that uh, um, there is, uh, I guess, a pretty healthy uh, mountain caribou herd on the other side of the river and that they would like to make sure that that uh, stays that way and that pe the, the caribou are protected. Uh, and uh, he mentioned that he'd like to see um, more than uh, just, uh, say, the check station at mile 222, that there'd be some more active... Uh, uh, wildlife uh, management uh, that uh, people officers would actually get out and talk to some of the harvesters that are out there doing uh, uh, harvesting I guess there's a good number of people that do come up the road from other places including the Yukon Thank you, uh, Mr. O'Reilly, for that. And uh, we will be having with uh, coffee with him tomorrow morning. Your mic's working now. So. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'd like to uh, invite anybody up to the mic if uh, would like to speak. If not, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us this evening to provide thoughtful feedback to the committee to consider if there are any written comments or would like to provide further feedback, please reach out to our clerk of the committee and our contact information. Thank you for that and uh, thank you Shauna Spellcheck for helping us with our meeting space tonight, Marty Ann uh, Baja for assisting her as well. Closing prayer, I'd ask Mr. O'Reilly for closing prayer for the meeting. Thank you Kevin. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, thank
Thanks, uh, Mr. Chair. Just uh, want to thank uh, everyone that made this uh, meeting possible. Very uh, happy to be here in Norman Walls. I want to thank our staff for the hard work in preparing us for the meeting and uh, people that prepared the food for us this evening and uh, the MLA who came to uh, attend. We really appreciate you uh, coming out and supporting the work of the, the committee and uh, my colleagues uh, uh, as well for, for uh, coming to the meeting this evening. So lots of thanks all around. Uh, we wish we could have had more people, but uh, we understand the busy time. Uh, but uh, we do appreciate the chance to speak to the committee and talk to the people for the meeting. So thanks, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Ali. In closing, I'd like to thank uh, everyone for coming, Mr. Pope and Ms. Um, Chinna for our meeting here tonight. I'd like to thank the community of Norman Wells for hosting us uh, this week while we're here. And, and enjoy your summer, everyone. And then uh, another big day tomorrow that we'll be attending is Satu Day. So we're looking forward to that, uh, going with the MLA to, uh, to the festivities tomorrow and flip some burgers. So committee's next meeting will take place on Wednesday, June 23rd, 8.30 a.m. And I have the motion to adjourn the meeting. Ms. Nockleby, thank you. Motion. And adjourn. Motion order to all those in favor. Thank you. Motion's carried. Thank you.